Hey, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to take out all of the Bell Baron Hunters easily and effectively with a glitch or two. These are going to be the most effective methods that are probably going to help you or benefit you in some way. Because of course, these Hunters can be such a pain in the butt. As for the first location, we are at the War Master's Shack. Once you are located at this Lost Grace, which can be found early on in the game, we want to make sure that we then locate the Lost Grace and then sit down and make sure that we wait till it is nighttime. If the Bell Baron Hunter does not spawn, I highly recommend taking out the guy that is standing there, the NPC, or complete a quest so that he moves out of the way. Or if that still does not happen, what I highly recommend is that you pause the game once it is at nighttime and then fast travel to the same Lost Grace then you should see the Bell Baron Hunter pop up. So what you just saw there is a bow glitch that can be performed while you have a jar cannon. While you have a poison arrow equipped or any type of arrow equipped. And then you'll want to equip a great bolt. Then you'll want the memory of grace. Once you have all these items equipped, you can then equip the bow in just one hand so that the jar cannon is then attached to your back. Now that we have that down, let's go behind this shack and we are going to go up towards this hill and we are going to then use the glitch down towards the bell bearing hunter. This way we can then perform the glitch, which is simple enough. You just want to draw and then use your memory of grace. Note that once you do use the memory of grace, you do not need to use it every time. So just draw, use the memory of grace, and then from there just continue to draw and it will then shoot out. I know in the video I continuously used the memory of grace, yet this is just to show you that's how it's done. Now that we have taken out the enemy, he will then drop the following item. Let's head over to the next location, which is going to be at the Church of Valves. Once you are here, you can then locate the Lost Grace, which is right in front of the church. There's going to be a NPC, which is located in the middle, sort of. And this is going to be a turtle. You will want to exhaust his whole entire dialogue and then go back to the Lost Grace and turn it to nighttime. Now let's say that it is nighttime and you arrive back towards the middle and you see that the Pope is still there on the left side. What you can do is then pause the game and then fast travel back to the church. Once you've done that, go towards the middle and you'll notice that the NPC has gone away and then you'll see the hunter appear. Let's trace back and let's try to get the hunter out of our way because we are going to go towards the left here and we are going to jump up and we are going to try to get right here on top. What you want to do is then dismount, yet for some odd reason I had to do it the most funkiest way which was hanging on the window here and then jumping up, which you do not need to do that. I made it way more complicated than I need to, but hey, I got up there. so. Let's do the same thing, rinse and repeat. As for the next hunter, we will not be using the bow glitch. Instead, we are going to force the fella right off the map so that you can then acquire the bell. Once the item has dropped, let's head over to the next location, which is going to be a shack. Again, for this one, we do not need the bow glitch. All we need to do is just have ourselves and our mount. We are going to arrive right directly here on the map, which is easy to get to. So once you are at the isolated shack, let's rest and let's turn it to nightfall. Once it has turned to nighttime, if you do see the NPC still there, pause the game and then spawn back down. This should pop up the hunter and then you can proceed on to the next part, which is quite easy because we are going to go towards the right side. You will want to avoid this hunter and we are going to just chill here until he follows us all the way towards the end because once he does we will then want to make the jump down below we'll jump down here and we'll wait it out till he drops because it takes a little bit because he'll just slash away and then once he's done he'll kind of push forward and then he'll drop down below like so once he is down at the bottom we can then drop down below and he will follow us yep that easy and what you can do is then spawn and you will see the item drop Let's go over to the next location, which is going to be at another shack. You will rinse and repeat the same steps. If the hunter does not pop up, just spawn back at the same Lost Grace. What we want to do is we want to then jump on top of the shack and use the bow glitch. Easy stuff. This is really all you have to do for these hunters. And yeah, let me know what you guys think. 
If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on the notifications, and it helps out a lot if you leave a thanks. Big support helps out a lot in this channel so I can continue doing what I love. And so, yeah, with that all being said, I hope y'all are living a good life out there, and I'll see you all on the next video.